มุนไลท์นาน Hello everyone, I'm m o o n l i g h t Nana, and this is my 16th Medibank Paint Pro tutorial video. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it can help you start off your first step in your digital art journey. In the previous tutorial video, I explained about the eyedropper tool and the hand tool, which are the last tools of the toolbar. But we'll be, but we'll be going back to the first tool, which is the um, brush tool. Only this time, I will be explaining about its function bar. Mainly the snap function. The tutorial videos for the snap function will be divided into different parts of different videos that will be uploaded separately. For this Medibank Paint Pro tutorial, I will introduce the snap function, the parallel snap, and the snap setting. The snap function is used as a guideline to draw neat lines, be it a straight line or a curved line. The drawn lines will look much cleaner, neater, and precise when using the snap function compared to when drawing freehand. The snap functions can be found at the function bar of the brush tool, or you can also find it at the menu bar up here under the item snap. Click on the snap item at the menu bar, and you will find all the snap tools in the drop-down menu, as well as additional settings down here. Take a look at the um, snap icons at the function bar. There are nine icons that relates to the snap function, but for now I will explain about the first three, uh, the first two icons and the last icon over here, namely the snap off icon, parallel snap, and the snap setting. The first icon is the snap off, which is um, which indicates. If the snap function is on or off, as you can see here, the icon is um, highlighted in blue, meaning the snap function is off. Now let's click on the second icon, which is the parallel snap. Now notice that the snap off icon is not highlighted in blue anymore. That's because right now the snap function is on. Uh, that is the selected parallel snap icon. Clicking on any of the snap tool will immediately activate the snap function. Now let's talk about the first snap tool, the parallel snap. This snap, this snap tools enables you to draw a straight line at any tilted degrees as shown by the red lines on screen. You can set the degree of tilt anyhow you want, and when you're sure of it, simply click uh, on the canvas. The red lines will stay in place, and then you can draw a straight line in the direction of the red lines. As you can see here, the line that I draw is perfectly straight and neat. One more time, like so. To deactivate the parallel snap and put away the red lines, click on the snap off item. This time, I'll draw another line, but with free hand, and I'll make it in red color, like this. Mm, like this. All right. It is obvious to see that the line that I draw with free hand is not as straight uh, and neat as the line drawing drawn using the parallel snap. Not only that, the tilt, the tilt degree of free hand drawn is also inconsistent, like this one. So let's try again one more time. Hmm. So it is not as neat or as straight as using the parallel snap. Let's use the parallel snap again, and then draw a new line. And as you know it, the line drawn using the parallel snap turns out much better. No matter the size of the brush you use, <coughs> the line you draw will still follow the direction of the uh, red line, <coughs> which uh, you can see on the screen. Right now, I'm trying to draw a round shape, but the parallel snap will not allow it because obviously it is used to draw a straight line. However, if I draw a line against the red lines like this one, then a straight line can be drawn. Now remember that the straight line you draw that is against the red line will always be at 90 degrees. Um, in angle, 
this is another thing that you should know about using the parallel snap like this now if you want to change the direction of the lines simply click on the cog icon sorry the cog icon at the far end of the snap icons right here this is the snap setting icon it lets you change the snap of the canvas after clicking it you can adjust a new setting for that particular snap then it is like uh, in the beginning you just mm -hmm. click on it on the canvas to make the red guidelines in place and then you can draw the straight line the new ones okay so then uh, that is how you use the parallel snap and then once again you for this one if I draw it against the line it will always be in a 90 degrees angle over here okay so there you have it uh, the parallel snap parallel snap very easy to use and understand now I'll make a quick recap of today's tutorial video. The brush tools function bar mainly consists of the snap function icons. The snap function icons are used as guidelines to draw neat lines, be it a straight line or a curved line. The guidelines are the red lines you will see on screen when you activate any one of the seven snap tool. The first icon of the brush tools function bar is the snap off icon. It indicates if the snap function is on or off. If you want to exit the red lines uh, snap view, click on the snap off icon to draw free hand. The first snap tool is the parallel snap. This snap tool enables you to draw straight lines at any locked direction as shown by the red lines on screen. You can draw following the red guidelines or against it. If you draw against the red guidelines, the angle between the straight lines that you draw will always be 90 degrees. The snap setting icon at the far end is used to adjust the snap guidelines. Anytime you want to make changes or adjustment to the snap that you have already set on screen, just click the snap setting icon. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial video of Medibank Paint Pro. Please like this video and subscribe to Moonlight Nana channel or follow me on Facebook. Together we help each other out in our art journey. Have a blessed day ahead everyone.